Hi guys, Dane here, and today we're going to do five bookish facts about J.D. Salinger. I almost said about the catcher in the rye, because the two are basically synonymous, what with him becoming a recluse. Before we get started, this was requested by Catalyst Reads. And if you have a request of your own for a future episode, let me know in the comments, and I will get to as many of them as I can. And on that note, let's go. Alright, so fact number one, in 1942, Salinger was actually drafted into the army during the Second World War. While he served in the army, he actually made friends with a chap called Ernest Hemingway as well, and they'd go on to become sort of long-term acquaintances. Salinger actually wrote most of The Catcher in the Rye during the war, and he was involved in the D-Day landings in Normandy. For those Normandy buffs out there as well, he landed on Utah Beach. So during the war, he served as a counterintelligence officer, and he was also one of the first officers to enter a liberated concentration camp. So fact number two, sometimes he was nice, sometimes he wasn't, and he actually wrote a note to his maid once, I'm going to have to read this out, he said, Dear Mary, please make sure all the errands are done before you go on vacation, as I do not want to be bothered with insignificant things. Thank you, JD Salinger. And that note was actually later sold at auction for $50,000. So fact number three, he had a biographer, and I believe he later sued his biographer as well. So I don't know how true we can take this, because this is according to his biographer, he had a pickup line, and that pickup line was, Hi, I'm JD Salinger, I wrote The Catcher in the Rye. So fact number four, The Catcher in the Rye has actually been specifically linked to three kind of big world events. So the first one was the assassination of John Lennon, and the murderer there, Mark Chapman, was obsessed with Holden Caulfield and kind of saw himself as, you know, the reborn Caulfield, and his job was to end the phony John Lennon. When he was found by the police, he was actually flicking through his copy of the book, and he later said that the book was his statement and explained why he killed John Lennon. A copy of the book was also found in the hotel room of John Hinckley Jr. after he attempted to assassinate President Ronald Reagan. And in 1989, a guy called Robert John Bardo, who was carrying around the book, murdered Rebecca Schaefer, an actress he'd become obsessed with. So fact number five, and possibly my favourite, is that because Salinger lived to the ripe old age of 91, many of his obituaries had been prepared in advance, and The Guardian's obituary uh, was written by a guy called Mark Krupnik, who'd actually died seven years before Salinger. So anyway, that's it for this episode, so thanks a lot for watching, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments who you would like to see a future episode on, and I will see you soon for more Buckish videos, thanks a lot, bye bye.